Hey everybody, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in, and for those who haven't visited the channel, welcome to x Rides Cars. Today, let's take a look at this 2016 Kia Sorento V6. So this is going to be a full take of the Sorento. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects from both the interior as well as the exterior. And so, without further ado, Let's go ahead and get started. It's a full red exterior featuring a full black cloth interior. Beautiful sound from that V6 engine. So let's go ahead and shut it down, leave the power on. This Sorento features a speed sensitive electric assist rack and pinion power steering system on a three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. The Sorento comes with Kia's six-speed electronically controlled automatic gearbox with overdrive, manual shifting using the, either the shifter or the paddles on the steering wheel. This transmission also has a sport shifter as well. So, we'll go ahead and flip on the automatic projector headlights as well as the hazards. Driver's side window is fully automatic. So let's go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? The Sorento overall is a unique crossover SUV. It looks aggressive, but it is one machine which can go all sorts of places. Even better, with a V6 engine in there, instead of the standard 4-cylinder. Kia revealed the third generation Sorento in August 2014 in South Korea, and then for its European debut at the 2014 Paris Auto Show. It was meant to be a comfortable SUV. Overall, if you ride it, it is comfortable, like, really. Some people may find it even more comfortable than a 2013 Mercedes E350. That is even more impressive. Well, it makes sense because they make the K900 sedan with that luxury and comfort, but it is incredible for a crossover not as luxury as the E350. Although the E350 we filmed is rear-wheel drive though, it is unknown to us about the ride comfort of the front-wheel drive Sorento. It will probably be different comparing the all-wheel drive E350 with the all-wheel drive Sorento. Other transmissions for the Sorento are available in other countries as well as such as a 5 speed automatic or even a 5 speed manual or a 6 speed manual but a 6 speed auto is the only one available in the US. The Sorento does look like one amazing quality vehicle and it even feels like a quality vehicle as well which is a good thing 
so people can enjoy it at all times. For people who are interested in this vehicle, or any 2016 Sorento, definitely work it, worth it to check out a Sorento and test drive it too. Projector headlights, LED turn signals, all-wheel drive badging, turn signal mirrors, This car is V6 equipped, as you can see from V6 badge. Chrome door handles, very neat touch. The Sorento comes standard with 17 inch, 5 twin spoke alloy wheels wrapped in Cumho 23565 tires. A spare wheel is also included. The Sorento is a McPherson independent front suspension and an independent rear suspension with multi-links and front and rear stabilizer bars, coil springs, and gas pressurized shock absorbers with a turning circle radius of 36.4 feet. This vehicle has a length of 187.4 inches, a width of 74.4 inches, as well as a height of 63.3 inches, which is running on a 109.4 inch wheelbase. Curb weight can be about 43, 43 pounds. So let's go ahead and pop the hood. This Sorento comes with the optional 3.3 liter double overhead cam 24 valve V6. The engine produces 290 horsepower at 6400 RPM and 252 pound feet of torque at 5300 RPM. 0 to 60 times are at about 5.78 seconds. Quarter mile time is at about 14.40 seconds at 96.16 miles per hour. This vehicle is all wheel drive and it has an 18.8 .8 gallon tank requiring only regular gas. EPA estimated miles per gallon ratings are at about 8 in the city and 26 highway. Open up the Sorento. It's very unique vehicle. Leather padding, wood trim, chrome door handles, power windows, locks, and mirrors. So let's go ahead and shut her up. Nice solid panels. This vehicle does come standard with the standard Kia audio system. Illuminated vanity mirrors inside the visors, as well as a clip. Nicely tucked away. Up here, reading lights, sunglass compartment, as well as a Bluetooth microphone right here. Rear view mirror. CD changer, six, six disc, air vents, volume controls, and all sorts of various stuff. So you have seat track, cap folder, all those things. And you have tune for your radio. This is a simple system. So you can use Bluetooth, you can use USB, which I'm using right here. Or you could use auxiliary and all sorts of things like that. You can also change other various settings in this vehicle as well. Coming down here, you have your single zone climate control, including hazard switch, fan speed, Front defrost, rear defrost, air conditioning, positioning, max AC, 
recycling, as well as your temperature control. Coming down here, you've got a, you've got a media center, two 12 volt power outlets, auxiliary port, and a USB port. Two cup holders, drive mounts, four wheel drive lock, gear shifter for your automatic gearbox, as well as a little storage cubby right there. Mini storage cubby, and then after that, full size center console. You got another USB port for charging only. Which is kind of neat. Coming to the steering wheel, you have other various controls. Drive modes, cruise control, other things. Yes, this is seat track. Volume control. And you can also set up other media stuff with your remotes, voice command, telephone, and you have various controls such as your iPod, speedometer, tachometer, left, right, service interval, user settings, door, tailgate, various things. So your trip computer. Which is all neat. Along with that, you've got voice command. Please say a command after the beep. Help. Help. You can say play, pause, shuffle, or repeat. For help with other modes, say more help after the beep. Cancel. Cancel. So that's all. Pretty unique. We've got other various controls. Traction control. Fuel cap. As well as another vent on the driver's side. And one more vent on the passenger side. In a nutshell, this is pretty much it on the driver's side interior. Alright. So let's go ahead and shut her down. So let's go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle. The back of the Sorento is pretty comfortable. Plenty amounts of space. You got a little pocket, 12 volt power outlet, USB charge port, as well as some cup holders in the mini center console right here. There is a third row in this vehicle. If you want access, just pull up this lever, and that's pretty much it. In the third row, you have a little storage pocket and a cup holder on both sides. There is no middle third row seat, there's only two. So this is a seven passenger vehicle. The Sorrento has a decent amount of cargo space. It is just 11.3 cubic feet with all seven seats up. Not very satisfying. But if you fold the third row, you get a total of 38 cubic feet, which is pretty good. And if you even fold the second row, you get a 73 cubic feet amount of cargo space. It's pretty impressive, but not with all the seats up, sadly.
The passenger seat features the same manual adjustments as the driver's side. Pretty decent glove box. The Kia Sorento is not a bad vehicle if you're considering a small crossover or SUV. You can get it in basic, such as this one, or you could even get higher end models with other upholstery and more unique features. Well everybody, I hope you enjoyed this full take of this 2016 Kia Sorento. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more this came from, and be sure to subscribe today and check out all the future content coming to X-Rise Cars. Take care.